Hello everyone, Rowdy Turner here, and today I wanted to talk to you about my favorite collectible, my 1980 Popeye the Sailor Man coin bank. As you can see, it's a very good likeness of Popeye. He is seated on a pile of rope, like he's down by the dock, and he is wearing his signature blue trousers, brown shoes, black shirt with red neckerchief, has on his sailor's hat and a brown corn cob pipe. Now when I bought this two years ago on eBay I was looking for something that would portray the best likeness possible of Popeye and I think this one probably has the best 3D likeness of any Popeye figurine I've ever seen. Sometimes it's hard to transition a cartoon character from the screen to the uh, real world. I think they do pretty well in this one. Let me give you a 360 spin so you can get a look at the entire bank. As you can see it has the coin slot at the top of his back and this coin slot uh, doesn't really have a lot of damage. Sometimes you'll see a little damage here when you put coins in. The, chip will, the uh, paint will chip, off, chip away but I stopped uh, putting coins in it a few years, about a year ago after I bought it. And as I said before, it was made in 1980. It's made of porcelain, and it was made in Japan, So, and it looks like it's hand-painted. So it's pretty high, high quality. And on the bottom, it's missing the stopper, but it does say King Features Syndicate Inc. and has the original sticker. As you can see, it says Vandor Imports, San Francisco, made in Japan. And you will see these from time to time on eBay. There's one currently listed now, and I would definitely recommend picking it up if you're a fan of Popeye the Sailor. It's very much a fun little figurine to have around the house to kind of make you smile if you used to watch Popeye cartoons in your childhood. It stands about seven and three quarter inches high, and it's pretty lightweight. But that is my review on the Popeye 1980 King Features Porcelain coin bank.